The lovish theta function, theta, g, provides a strong upper bound on the stability number of a graph g, which can be computed in polynomial time by solving a semi-definite program, SDP. Despite its strength, several attempts have been made to improve the theta bound by applying the n plus lifting operator of Lovish and Shriver to the classical formulation of the maximum stable set problem. This paper explores the application of the n plus operator to two different linear formulations based on clique and nodal inequalities, respectively. These formulations require fewer inequalities and guarantee an SDP bound at least as strong as theta, g. The stable set problem, SSP, consists of computing a stable set of maximum cardinality in a graph G, denoted by alpha, G. SSP is n fard and has numerous applications in practical contexts. A weighted version of SSP can be considered by assigning a weight vector to the vertices. The problem can be naturally formulated as a binary program using edge inequalities, which define the fractional stable set polytope FRAC, G, and the stable set polytope STAB, g. The Lovish theta number, theta, g, represents an upper bound for alpha, g, that can be computed in polynomial time by solving an SDP. The theta number has been instrumental in proving that SSP can be solved in polynomial time when g is a perfect graph. Theta, g, achieves a good trade-off between computational effort and strength of the bound, making it attractive for incorporation within branch and bound algorithms. The N plus, lift and project operator has been applied to the LP relaxation of SSP, resulting in tighter SDP relaxations. Theoretical and computational studies have demonstrated the strength of this approach, including implications of facet-defining inequalities of the stable set polytope. This paper investigates the application of the N plus, operator to clique and nodal formulations, showing that stronger upper bounds can be accessed with reasonable additional effort particularly on sparse and dense graphs. Here is a combined summary of pages 3 and 4 of the research paper. The paper addresses the computational challenges of strengthening SDP relaxations using the N plus operator. Existing methods, such as N plus, FRAC, G, and its variants, yield stronger upper bounds but at the cost of significantly increased computational effort. The authors propose a new approach, applying the N plus, operator to alternative LP relaxations, which bridges the gap between computational efficiency and bound strength. The first relaxation is derived by replacing edge inequalities with clique inequalities, resulting in a more compact and tractable relaxation. The second relaxation starts from a weaker LP relaxation and relies on the N plus, operator to recover its potential weakness. The authors introduce a hierarchy of SDP relaxations, including a primary level with O, V, nodal inequalities and two progressively stronger relaxations obtained through coefficient strengthening procedures. The paper proves that all proposed SDP relaxations are at least as strong as the Lovish theta relaxation and compares them to each other and to N plus, FRAC, G. Implementation issues and extensive experiments are discussed, demonstrating significant progress with respect to theta, G, in several cases. The relaxations obtained from clique inequalities are more effective for sparse graphs, while those from nodal inequalities are better suited for dense graphs. The paper adopts standard notation for graph theory and matrix operations. The N plus operator is reviewed, which involves three steps, lifting, projecting, and linearizing. The application of the N plus operator to a O1 linear program involves generating quadratic inequalities, linearizing them through the introduction of a matrix variable, and relaxing the quadratic constraint using Schur's complement definition. The resulting SDP relaxation is then solved to obtain a tighter upper bound. Here is a combined summary of pages 5 and 6 of the research paper. The authors describe a strengthening and projection approach to relax the stable set polytope, STAB, G, of a graph G. They define the convex set M plus, P by adding constraints to the original polytope P, ensuring that any binary vector X in P satisfies Xi equals X squared I, whereas points in P may not guarantee this equality. The lift operator M plus is used to define M plus P. The projection of M plus P 
onto the original x space is denoted as n plus p, which is a valid relaxation of pi, containing p and satisfying all linear inequalities x is less than or equal to b. The authors note that the definition of m plus p and n plus p does not depend on the representation of p but only on the set of points in p, leading to property 1. Given two polytopes p and p, with p, subset equal p, then m plus p, subset equal m plus p. Additionally, Lovish and Shriver provided necessary conditions for an inequality at x is less than or equal to b to be valid for n plus p. The authors then discuss continuous relaxations of the stable set problem, SSP. They recall known results about linear and semi-definite relaxation of the SSP. Linear relaxations of the SSP include clique inequalities, which induce facets of stab, g. The polytope QSTAB, g, is defined as the convex hull of all clique inequalities. The authors also discuss other rank inequalities, such as oddhole inequalities and web inequalities, which are valid for stab, g. Furthermore, the authors mention the surrogate relaxation approach by Della Croce and today, which involves summing up edge inequalities over all neighbors of a vertex, yielding nodal inequalities. Murray and Church observed that these inequalities can be strengthened by replacing the degree of a vertex with a value r is greater than or equal to alpha, g, gamma, i, leading to a class of O1 linear programs. Overall, the authors present various relaxation techniques for the stable set problem, including strengthening and projection, linear relaxations, and surrogate relaxations, highlighting their relationships and properties. The paper discusses various relaxations for the stable set problem, SSP, focusing on three main types of relaxations. Linear programming, LP, semi-definite programming, SDP, and integer programming, IP. It starts by introducing a linear relaxation called the fractional relaxation FRAC, G, which is obtained from the integer program for the SSP by relaxing the integrality constraints on the variables. This relaxation is then strengthened through the addition of several classes of valid inequalities, including clique, odd cycle, odd antihole, and odd wheel inequalities. The paper also explores SDP relaxations, starting with the Lovish theta relaxation which provides an upper bound to the stability number alpha, g, of a graph g. This relaxation involves a quadratic variable she representing the product sheesh for all, i, j, element of v times v, and an associated symmetric matrix x of order n equals, v. The Lovish theta relaxation can be computed in polynomial time up to an arbitrary precision and often provides a strong bound to the stability number, typically better than those obtained from linear relaxations. A stronger SDP relaxation is the Shriver relaxation, which adds non-negativity constraints on Shea for all, i, j, element of E to the Lovish theta relaxation. The Lovish Shriver relaxation is obtained by applying the operator n plus, to FRAC, g, resulting in the addition of linear inequalities, including clique, odd cycle, odd antihole, and odd wheel inequalities, as well as web inequalities. This relaxation is known to satisfy several well-known classes of valid inequalities for stab, g, and provides an upper bound to alpha, g, denoted as lambda, g. The positive semi-definiteness constraint plays a key role in this relaxation, as it significantly improves the bound compared to the corresponding LP relaxation obtained via the shirali adams procedure. In this section, we delve into the development of new SDP relaxations for the stable set problem, SSP, with a focus on improving the computational efficiency and accuracy. The current state-of-the-art methodologies involve strengthening the natural SDP relaxation of the SSP using various techniques such as adding extra linear inequalities, applying specialized augmented Lagrangian methods, and utilizing SD-related methodologies. However, these approaches often lead to a significant increase in computational cost and may not yield substantial improvements in the upper bounds to alpha, g. We introduce a novel SDP relaxation, m plus, qstab, g, which is derived from the lift operator m plus, applied to qstab, g, and nod, g, r. This relaxation combines the clique variable inequalities, 
McCormick inequalities, and additional constraints to ensure that the variables are non-negative and the matrix X is positive semi-definite. The resulting upper bound to alpha, G, is denoted by micro, G. The new relaxation M plus, QSTAB, G, is shown to be a subset of the well-known relaxation M plus, FRAC, G. Demonstrating that the proposed method can provide stronger upper bounds to alpha, G, while maintaining computational efficiency. An example is provided to illustrate the strict containment M plus, QSTAB, G, subset equal M plus, FRAC, G, highlighting the potential of the new approach to achieve better results in certain scenarios. The key innovations in M plus, QSTAB, G, lie in its ability to leverage the structure of the input graph G and the choice of clique C by incorporating clique variable inequalities and McCormick inequalities, the relaxation can effectively capture the relationships between variables and improve the accuracy of the upper bounds. Furthermore, the additional constraints ensure that the variables are properly bounded and the matrix X is positive semi-definite, which is crucial for maintaining the validity of the relaxation. In conclusion, the proposed SDP relaxation M plus, QSTAB, G, offers a promising approach to improve the upper bounds to alpha, G, without significantly increasing the computational cost. The methodology utilizes the lift operator M plus, to strengthen the natural SDP relaxation of the SSP, incorporating click with variable and McCormick inequalities along with additional constraints. This approach has the potential to provide better results than existing methodologies, particularly for graphs with specific structures or properties. In the context of combinatorial optimization, the authors delve into the study of two distinct relaxations for the stable set polytope, namely N plus, FRAC, G, and N plus, QSTAB, G, where G denotes a graph. They demonstrate that N plus, QSTAB, G, implies anti-web inequalities, which are fundamental in combinatorial optimization. This result completes the theoretical picture for N plus, QSTAB, G, as it satisfies all traditional combinatorial inequalities such as clique, odd cycle, odd antihole, odd wheel, web, and anti-web inequalities. The authors also analyze the graph G which has been shown to produce a non-polyhedral relaxation when optimizing over N+, plus, FRAC, G. However, optimizing over N+, plus, QSTAB, G, yields a polyhedral relaxation with a value of micro, G, equals 2, indicating that N+, plus, QSTAB, G, is polyhedral. From a computational perspective, the main issue with N+, plus, QSTAB, G, is its linear description, which generally contains exponentially many inequalities. However, since QSTAB, G, C, subset equal FRAC, G, we have M plus, QSTAB, G, C, subset equal M plus, FRAC, G, where M plus, QSTAB, G, C, is a convex set defined by a set of constraints. This set can be constructed in polynomial time using a greedy algorithm, and the number of inequalities describing QSTAB, G, C, is bounded by, E. The authors propose optimizing the objective function, summation text, I element of VXE over M plus, QSTAB, G, C, which returns an upper bound denoted as micro, G, C. This relaxation will be experimented with in section 6. The paper also explores a generic nodal inequality with re is greater than or equal to alpha, g, gamma, i, for all i and v, and demonstrates how the lifting step along with xi equals xi returns a new inequality. The paper presents a novel approach to strengthen the fractional relaxation of the node and edge formulation for the maximum stable set problem in a graph, denoted as frac, g. This strengthening is achieved by applying the n plus operator which allows for the recovery of edge constraints and leads to a new relaxation, M plus, nod, G, R, that is at least as strong as Shriver's relaxation, TH plus, G. The N plus operator transforms the initial surrogate relaxation into a stronger form, making it possible to obtain an upper bound that is no worse than Shriver's bound, 
even when the initial formulation is weak. The new relaxation, M plus, nod, G, R, is defined by adding linear inequalities, 25, 26, 28, and 29, to the semi-definite program, SDP theta, along with Shea is greater than or equal to zero for I, J, element of E. This relaxation can be constructed and solved in polynomial time, making it computationally tractable. A hierarchy of relaxations emerges from varying the lifting coefficient re, with m plus, nod, g, alpha, subset equal m plus, nod, g, theta, subset equal m plus, nod, g, gamma. This hierarchy poses a complexity issue, as the strongest relaxation comes from applying the n plus operator to an LP relaxation, which cannot be constructed in polynomial time in general. However, when the subgraphs induced by neighbor sets are perfect, the strongest relaxation can be constructed in polynomial time, according to the result in 33. The paper also documents the practical trade-off between strength and computational tractability for all relaxations in this hierarchy. The new relaxation M plus, nod, G, R, provides a more precise upper bound on the maximum stable set size than the original surrogate relaxation and it is computationally more efficient than Shriver's relaxation. The paper demonstrates the effectiveness of the n-plus operator in enhancing the quality of the upper bound obtained from the node and edge formulation, providing a promising direction for further research on strengthening relaxations for combinatorial optimization problems. The paper discusses the comparison among relaxations, specifically focusing on n-plus, frac, g, n-plus, qstab, g, and n plus, nod, g, r. It presents an example of an odd hole with seven vertices, which demonstrates that neither n plus, nod, g, r, contains n plus, frac, g, nor the reverse. This is further supported by the case of a, 10, 3, anti-web graph, where optimizing over n plus, frac, g, yields a solution outside n plus, nod, g, R, for R element of, theta, alpha. The theoretical relationships between these relaxations are summarized in figure 3, suggesting that N plus, QSTAB, G, as well as N plus, FRAC, G, should be stronger than N plus, nod, G, R. However, computational analysis reveals the supremacy of N plus, nod, G, R, as graphs become denser particularly for R element of theta, alpha. The implementation of the software used in this work is available at https colon slash slash github.com slash fibatista slash sdp underscore lift underscore and underscore project. This repository includes Python and MATLAB files that create all linear formulations presented in section 3.1 and exports them in standard LP format. It relies on the Max Clique Solver Cliquer and ADMM Solver.py to compute coefficients for nodal inequalities. The paper also provides a notation for SDP's optimal values in Table 1, highlighting the symbols used for different relaxations. Figure 3 illustrates the containment relationships among these relaxations, providing a visual representation of their theoretical relationships. The paper discusses the development of a software package for solving the stable set problem, SSP, using semi-definite programming, SDP, relaxations. It focuses on two main components, the SDP lifting operation and the SDP optimization process. The SDP lifting operation is performed by the function m plus lifting, in sdplifting.py, which parses the input polytope p constructs symmetric matrices corresponding to constraints, and exports the model in .mat file format for further processing with SDPNAL+. The SDP optimization process involves solving a general SDP of the form opt, r, equals max y element of rc, y, where r is a set of constraints, and c, a1, m are symmetric matrices. The paper highlights that SDP and AL plus converges quickly on SDP theta plus, but requires longer convergence times on M plus, QSTAB, G, C, and M plus, nod, G, R, relaxations due to the number and density of linear constraints. To overcome this, 
The authors use a classical cutting plane method to optimize over M plus, QSTAB, G, C, and M plus, NOD, G, R, starting from, SDP theta plus. At each iteration, they compute V, Y, K, equals I, Y, K by, I element of, M, and use this information to refine the optimization process. The paper also provides details on model building, including the implementation of four different compact LP relaxations of the SSP, QSTAB, G, C, and NOD, G, R, for R element of, gamma, theta, alpha. The construction of these LP models varies in complexity, with QSTAB, G, C, requiring a collection of clicks covering all edges of G, nod, G, gamma, being straightforward, and nod, G, theta, and nod, G, alpha, requiring the evaluation of re equals theta, G, gamma, I, and re equals alpha, G, gamma, I, respectively, which can be solved in parallel. The average, maximum, and minimum CPU times for computing these coefficients are reported in Table 2. The paper concludes by emphasizing the practicality of the proposed approach, which allows for the computation of theta, g, for large graphs, and provides a comprehensive software package that can be used to solve the SSP using SDP relaxations. The paper discusses a cutting plane scheme for solving semi-definite programming relaxations of the maximum stable set problem. It presents two main relaxations, M plus, QSTAB, G, C, and M plus, nod, G, R, where R can be gamma, theta, or alpha. These relaxations are designed to provide upper bounds for the stability number of a graph, which is a fundamental concept in combinatorial optimization. The authors use an algorithm that iteratively adds constraints to the SDP relaxation until no more violated constraints are found or a certain tolerance threshold is reached. The algorithm's parameters, such as the number of cutting planes and precision settings, are chosen after preliminary tuning experiments. The paper also reports computational experiments conducted on a specific computer setup with Intel, R, Xeon, R, CPU E52698 V4 at 2.20 GHz, 256 GB RAM, under OS Ubuntu 16.04.7 LTS. The experiments aim to answer three main questions. I. Whether relaxations based on operator M+, can provide stronger upper bounds for alpha, G, than theta, G, E the additional computational cost for achieving such an improvement, and, e, how the choice of R affects the quality of the bound from M plus, nod, G, R. The results are presented in tables, which include the percentage gap to alpha, G, the number of cutting plane iterations, the corresponding CPU time, and the number of added cuts for each class of inequalities. The paper concludes that the proposed relaxations offer significant improvements over existing methods, particularly when using the theta operator. This study focuses on the stable set problem, which is a fundamental problem in combinatorial optimization. The authors propose and test several semi-definite programming, SDP, relaxations for this problem, utilizing various techniques such as lifting and projection. They evaluate these relaxations on two collections of graphs. Erdős Renyi graphs and DIMACS instances. The Erdős Renyi graphs are generated with different numbers of vertices, n, and edge probabilities, p, resulting in 135 graphs. The DIMACS test set includes structured graphs from various applications, including those with more than 300,400 vertices, which have not been documented in SDP based studies before. The results show that the strongest SDP relaxation, M plus, nod, G, alpha, consistently outperforms other relaxations in terms of integrality gap, particularly for dense graphs. For sparse graphs, M plus, QSTAB, G, C, is more suited. The polynomial time computable bound nu, G, theta, improves on theta plus, G, in several cases, and strengthening the lifting coefficient pays off, as nu, G, Alpha is significantly smaller than nu, g, theta, in 11 cases. The computational price for achieving strong bounds is reasonable, 
especially for M+, Nod, G, Alpha, which is less sensitive to graph size compared to other relaxations. The study also reveals that the key contribution to closing the gap comes from inequalities, 25, and the addition of a compact collection of clique inequalities in the initial formulation greatly improves the gap closure. Overall, the proposed SDP relaxations demonstrate promising results in solving the stable set problem, especially for larger graphs, and highlight the importance of choosing the right relaxation based on the graph's density. This research paper presents a comparative analysis of various algorithms and their performance on random instances, focusing on the efficiency and efficacy of different optimization techniques. The paper's main goal is to evaluate the effectiveness of the NOD algorithm in solving combinatorial optimization problems, particularly in terms of its computational efficiency and the quality of solutions obtained. The first table, Table 3, provides a comprehensive comparison between the NOD algorithm and other optimization methods, such as theta plus, lambda, micro, nu, gamma, and nu, theta, in terms of percentage gap. The results are presented for different graph sizes, n, and edge probabilities, p, demonstrating the NOD algorithm's superior performance in many cases, especially for larger graphs and higher edge probabilities. The second table, table 4, highlights the computational efficiency of the NOD algorithm by comparing CPU time and the number of cutting plane iterations required for convergence. The findings indicate that the NOD algorithm generally outperforms its competitors in terms of both CPU time and the number of iterations, especially for larger graphs and higher edge probabilities. The paper also discusses the limitations and potential future directions for the NOD algorithm including possible improvements to its computational efficiency and further exploration of its applications in various combinatorial optimization problems. The paper discusses a novel approach to enhance the classical Lovish theta bound for the stability number of a graph, leveraging the Lovish Shriver N plus, lift and project operator on tailored LP relaxations. Unlike previous methods, some of these relaxations may not be constructed in polynomial time such as handling exponentially many clique inequalities with an associated n-fard separation problem, or building strong nodal inequalities that require solving the stable set problem, SSP, on specific subgraphs. The study demonstrates that these expedients, when properly handled, can significantly improve the theta bound without excessive extra computational effort. In terms of computational analysis, the new SDP relaxations M+, QSTAB, G, C, and M+, plus, Nod, G, Alpha, have shown promising results in achieving tighter upper bounds to Alpha, G, compared to Theta, G, at a reasonable computational price. The experimental evidence complements the theoretical insights presented in section 4.3, where M+, plus, QSTAB, G, C, appears to achieve the tightest bounds compared to M+, plus, Nod, G, Alpha. The authors also provide a detailed comparison of the number of added cutting planes on random instances, table 5, and observe that inequalities, 21, are only added in a few special graphs, namely the extremely sparse man graphs. Classes of inequalities, 25, and 26, are relevant to describe M plus, nod, G, theta, M plus, nod, G, alpha, while no violated members of classes. 28, and 29 have ever been found. Algorithm 1 has demonstrated a nice numerical behavior even for the largest graphs in the DIMACS collection, and reoptimization is cost effective. Table 7, its extra time is only paid when the cuts yield a significant improvement of the upper bound. In contrast, in the other cases, CPU times do not deviate significantly from those of theta plus g. The study concludes by highlighting the potential of the Lovish and Shriver operators as practical tools, beyond being a powerful theoretical tool. An interesting research direction consists of finding classes of graphs where n plus, nod, g, theta, equals stab, g, as for them the SSP would be polynomially solvable. The paper presents a comparative analysis of various lift and project relaxations for solving the maximum cut problem on a range of graphs from the DIMACS library. 
The authors focus on the performance of these relaxations in terms of the quality of the upper bound obtained and the computational effort required. They evaluate six different lift and project relaxations, including theta plus, lambda, micro, nu, theta, nu, alpha, and nu, gamma, across several instances of graphs with varying densities. The results are presented in Table 6, which highlights the upper bound percentage gap for each relaxation method across different graphs. The table demonstrates that the theta plus relaxation consistently outperforms other methods in terms of upper bound quality, particularly for denser graphs. However, it also requires significantly more computational time and cutting plane iterations, as shown in Table 7. The CPU time and cutting plane iterations are critical factors in evaluating the practicality of these methods, especially when dealing with larger graphs. While the theta plus relaxation offers superior upper bounds, its increased computational requirements may limit its applicability in real-world scenarios where time is a constraint. The study provides valuable insights into the trade-off between upper bound quality and computational effort for various lift and project relaxations on different graph instances. This information can guide researchers and practitioners in selecting the most suitable relaxation method depending on their specific needs and constraints. This paper discusses the application of a new lift and project operator, specifically the lovish schreiber SDP operator, to solve combinatorial optimization problems. The focus is on the maximum clique problem and the stable set polytope, which are both NFARD problems. The authors provide an overview of existing literature on these topics, including various algorithms and relaxations, such as the lovish schreiber SDP operator, and their limitations. The paper also presents a novel approach to dealing with inequality constraints in large-scale semi-definite relaxations for graph coloring and maximum clique problems. This approach is based on the work by Batista and DeSantis, 5, who introduced a new method for handling inequality constraints in SDP relaxations. The authors then delve into the implementation of their proposed method using the CPLEX optimization software and present computational results on DIMACS instances. These results show that the new lift and project operator can significantly reduce the number of added cutting planes compared to previous methods leading to improved performance in solving the maximum clique problem. The paper concludes by discussing the potential for future research in this area, including the possibility of integrating this new lift and project operator with other optimization techniques and applying it to different types of combinatorial optimization problems. The authors also highlight the need for further investigation into the theoretical properties of the new operator and its relationship with other lift and project operators. In terms of technical details, the paper provides equations and algorithms related to the lovish schreiber SDP operator, as well as mathematical concepts like the stable set polytope and the maximum clique problem. It also includes tables and graphs summarizing the computational results obtained from the proposed method. Overall, this paper contributes to the ongoing research in combinatorial optimization by introducing a new lift and project operator and demonstrating its effectiveness in solving the maximum clique problem. The work builds upon previous studies and opens up opportunities for further exploration in the field of semi-definite programming relaxations. The paper discusses various approaches to solving the stable set problem, a fundamental problem in combinatorial optimization. It begins by citing a range of existing literature on this topic, including the seminal work of Laszlo Lovish and Alexander Shriver on cones of matrices and set functions and O1 optimization. The authors also reference the Lovish theta function, which is a key concept in understanding the stable set problem, as well as its relationship with the clique number and Shannon capacity of a graph. The paper then delves into different methods for strengthening upper bounds for the clique number such as using nonvalid inequalities and applying regularization methods for semi-definite programming. These techniques are crucial in enhancing the efficiency and accuracy of solving the stable set problem. Furthermore, the authors discuss computational studies of separation algorithms for clique inequalities, which can significantly impact the performance of optimization algorithms. Moreover, the paper explores the use of lift and project methods, including the work of Monia John Domenico, Adam N. Lechford, Fabrizio Rossi, and Stefano Smeriglio on strengthening Shavadal Gomery cuts for the stable set problem. 
The paper also touches upon the role of ellipsoidal relaxations of the stable set problem, which provide an alternative perspective on solving this problem. In addition, the paper highlights the importance of considering the dual factorization in approximating the Lovish theta function with the subgradient method, as proposed by Monia John Domenico, Adam N. Lechford, Fabrizio Rossi, and Stefano Smeriglio. This method can be particularly useful in solving the stable set problem, especially when combined with other approaches like bilevel programming. Finally, the paper emphasizes the need for continued research in this area as solving the stable set problem remains a challenging task, especially for large graphs. The paper concludes by pointing out the potential for future studies to explore new methods and refine existing ones, ultimately aiming to achieve better approximations and solutions for the stable set problem. The research paper discusses the optimization of a branch and bound algorithm for solving the maximum stable set problem in perfect graphs, which is a well-known NFARD problem. The paper begins by outlining the significance of this problem and its applications in various fields such as computer science, operations research, and combinatorial optimization. To address this problem, the authors employ a novel approach that combines a semi-definite programming SDP, relaxation with a boundary point method. This method allows for the computation of strong upper bounds on the maximum stable set size, leading to improved performance in solving the problem. The paper provides an extensive literature review, citing numerous studies on the maximum stable set problem and related optimization techniques. It highlights the importance of Lovish's theta function, which is used to obtain upper bounds for the maximum stable set size in perfect graphs. The authors also discuss various algorithms and methodologies that have been developed to solve this problem, including branch and cut algorithms, branch and bound algorithms, and SDP-based methods. In addition to the theoretical background, the paper presents a detailed description of the proposed branch and bound algorithm. This includes the construction of a new SDP relaxation, the computation of upper bounds using the boundary point method, and the application of a branch and bound framework to solve the problem. The authors also provide a comparison with existing algorithms and discuss the computational experiments conducted to test the efficiency of their proposed approach. The paper concludes by summarizing the main contributions and identifying potential areas for future research. It emphasizes the need for further improvements in solving the maximum stable set problem, particularly in terms of scalability and efficiency.